Hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of PYA Crew Spotlight. My name is Ria. I am your host, and I'm really pleased to welcome Sarah Patterson. She is a yacht medic, medical officer, or stu nurse, depending on which yacht it is that is looking for that position. How are you, Sarah? Very well. Thank you, Ria. Yeah, I'm very well today. Really glad to be here with you. Yeah, well, you know what? You are the first person that I have interviewed in this series that has held that title, whichever title it is that applies at the moment. Um, tell me a little bit about your backstory, who you are, where you're from, um, and you know what got you into yachting. Okay, well, I guess uh, primarily I would say I'm a nurse, <laughs> heart and soul. Um, I actually am a trained critical care nurse. Um, so I trained in Oxford in the UK, um, and then I moved to London and worked in King's College Hospital, which a lot of people might have heard of, quite a famous hospital, big trauma center, 40 bed ICU, super busy, day shifts, night shifts, go, go, go. Uh, great experience there. And then uh, I just got to that point, you know, you do in your twenties and you have a freak out and say, am I going on this big career path up, up the ladder? Or do I wanna just go out there and do something different? So did my STCW like we all do, went down to Antilles, bought the docks um, and got a, a job as a, a yacht nurse. Um, I think there wasn't too many jobs around at that time for yacht nurses. It was quite a new thing having nurses on board. Um, it was mainly boats who had elderly owners and just wanted that sort of peace of mind of having a nurse in the crew. So it was predominantly a stew role. And um, yeah, and from there it's been, that was 10 years ago met my husband on that first boat <laughs> and uh, we've actually still well we're still together <laughs> 10 years down the line uh, so yeah it's been a, it's been an amazing ride for me amazing journey um, worked on quite a few boats after that as a yacht nurse yacht medic um, and went back to London for a bit did uh, stints as a critical care nurse actually ended up last year in the Nightingale Excel during the pandemic, just um, as a nurse educator supporting um, that field hospital there. So that was a, an amazing sort of time as well. Um, but now back and uh, hoping to get really back into yacht medical training. And uh, that's where my passion lies really. Well, let me ask you, I have interviewed people before that, you know, have started different careers and, and, you know, really fulfilling careers, you know, whether it be college professors or scientists or sociologists um, with you as a nurse, that is definitely, especially a trauma nurse, that that is a specialty. What was it that made you decide, you know what, I'm not happy climbing up through the ranks of this. I really want to apply my special set of skills to yachting. I think it was probably before training as a nurse. I always had a bit of a passion for travel, for adventure. I didn't really know I wanted to get into medicine then, but I definitely knew I wanted to live in other countries, experience other places. Um, so at 17, I actually got on a plane. I saved up um, for a plane ticket myself, worked a part-time job, got a ticket and flew to India and worked on a charity project there. And then started to work there with some nurses who were doing sort of relief work for the Red Cross and things like that. And so I just get a bit interested in, um, oh, I can actually sort of do my passion, which is traveling and a career with that, which is medicine or nursing. And um, yeah, that really sparked my interest. And then I did a few more stints in India and um, went to Bulgaria as well and just did some charity work. And then when I started my yacht career, um, starting, starting out, I, I, I got on this boat and I, sorry about the banging, I um, opened the medical cupboard and a load of oxygen masks fell out on me. And I looked at it and I thought, God, this is really challenging. And I looked at the environment I was meant to carry out medical care in. And it was, you know, the conditions, you know, out on deck, any weather, a uh, moving platform, um, big heavy machinery, you know, all, all sorts of things could happen and all scenarios were playing through my mind. I just thought this is really challenging. And, and my firm belief now is there really is no more challenging a place to perform medical care than at sea. 
you know, help may be days away. That's, that's a long period of time. Um, so it goes way beyond just having a standard first aid course. It's really advanced equipment, really advanced training. Um, and it's exciting. It's exciting type of medicine because um, it's very remote. Um, there's that maritime element. So you might get sort of injuries from coral or um, envenomations from marine animals. And there's all these sort of interesting elements that come into maritime medicine. And so I just really have grown a passion for it. And um, leaving my, I, I left a big telemed company last year um, and I really feel that I want to sort of keep developing um, within the maritime medicine sector. I, I didn't want to go back to nursing or, or go back to the regular sort of type of nursing or medicine. There's not a so, large yeah. percentage of, for example, yacht medics or stew nurses, medical officers on board yachts. But with the explosion that we've seen of more expedition type yachting, do you see that need rising? And if so, do you, do you think that there are enough people out there that are trained to be part of these type of expeditions? Yeah, it's a hard one. I think there are. Um, I actually did a tropical medicine diploma um, this year and uh, that course uh, was the perfect preparation for being a nurse or medic on a yacht because it was about that remote scenario um, the tropical diseases you might see traveling to further flung places, malaria, dengue, um, Zika, all of those kind of conditions that you would only see if you're traveling further afield. Um, but, you know, you're going to very remote places and medical care is far away. And I think you can be a nurse, but that doesn't make you a surgeon or a doctor. You know, you've got to have someone who's very jack of all trades. You might have a paramedic, but they don't have that ongoing care that a nurse could provide over a few days. So you've really got to have someone who's really adaptable, really a jack of all trades, maybe experienced in expedition, and they've done expeditions before to move on to a yacht. And I think a lot, I, I think there will be more demand. I think it's growing. And I think people are realizing the value of having hands-on medical care on board. Um, I don't think that should take away from the crew training. I think the crew also having a good level of training is so important because they're going to be the support network for that medic. That medic's going to need pairs of hands that know what they're doing as well to support them. But yeah, I think it's, I th I think it's a growing um, part of the industry that is so important and so relevant right now. In your opinion, do you think that it is best to get that medical training first or do you think to get your basic tickets um, on board and then sort of transition over into some sort of medical training, which would you think would be a better sort of platform to start this career on? Yeah, um, I, I think that you have to have a good um, year or two experience in, in a hospital environment, but preferably in a, in a critical care environment. Most hospitals I believe will require you to have a year as a, a uh, a ward nurse first before moving into critical care so you'll have to do that year as a ward nurse and then maybe a year as a critical care nurse and I think that's really key to uh, so, uh, consolidate your skills as a as a medical professional and then there are various courses that you can do um, which will give you that knowledge of remote medicine I can really recommend the course I did last year um, it's from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, and that's a, it's a brilliant course. It's all online now as well, which is a big advantage. And that really will give you the knowledge you need to, to move into yachting. Nice. Well, Sarah, you know what? It's been really informative, and I really do appreciate your time because there's just not a lot out there that you have the chance to speak to. Um, and yeah. it definitely is an interesting position. And as we've been saying, you know, it looks like in the future there's going to be more and more of a need for that um, specific role. So it's good to yeah. get your insight. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I absolutely love talking anything, medical training, blood and guts. Um, it's just a real passion of mine. <laughs> so very happy to be here with you today. Well, you know, we'll make sure to provide all of your information underneath this interview in case somebody wants to get a hold of you and, and perhaps uh, you can give them different links and, and uh, different directions in which they can go to achieve the same goal that you have. 
Great. Yeah, more than happy to help. Thank you so much. Once again, you have been watching the PYA Crew Spotlight. This has been Sarah Patterson, Yacht Medic. My name is Rhea. I am your host. Please tune in again next week.